This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Anything to report from Dave Van Horn's uh, press availability uh, that you just uh, were in on? You know, no injury news, no pitching news, anything like that. He was more focused on uh, general overall college baseball questions. Uh, uh, several coaches don't like it. And we know Coach Van Horn has said this many times. He didn't like the, the draft being so late and, uh, you know, cutting into their time to try to get kids here on campus. Uh, you know, they talked about the NIL, the portal, portal a lot. And then they, you know, talked a little bit about their teams, uh, Oklahoma State, uh, Oregon State, Michigan. Obviously, their coaches were all on the, uh, the, the, the deal. And they're looking forward to, you know, playing Arkansas. Obviously, Oregon State and Arkansas 2018 was the last uh, meeting there. And it didn't end well, obviously, for Arkansas. Uh, yeah, but they're, uh, Michigan is excited about playing Arkansas. That's not been one that uh, has gotten together uh, too much at all. And then Oklahoma State with Josh Holiday, uh, you know, he talked about basically how they've always had fun in those series, except last year in uh, in Arlington when it was eighteen to three or something like that, when uh, Arkansas kind of unloaded on them after TCU unloaded on them. Hey Dudley, r- real quick, I want to ask you what what do you think the the Razorback baseball team needs to do to be able to get over this hump? To I, I know you got to get a little lucky, and I and I know we can say you know catch the catch the pop up that you catch a hundred times out of a hundred. But but going forward for this year, uh, last year's team was able to win the SEC, share the crown with Florida. Uh, but what what do you think needs to happen? That's just, we just need to be a little bit better at uh, if you want to you know so so to speak cut down the nets in Omaha. Well, not. You know, I'm not breaking any scoop here when I say they have to stay healthy, but if they do stay healthy, then I think the availability of having young pitchers like Gabe Gackle uh, and some of these other guys uh, are going to, to really help them at the back end of the bullpen, the back end of these, uh, being able to start some of these games, uh, uh, you know, midweek and kind of get a flow going to where they can use all the pitchers instead of being so concentrated on just a few pitchers. That, that has been the case and a lot of these times once they get to, uh, you know, in the postseason and certainly to Omaha, they've got to have a fresh staff getting there to be able to, to you know, play the amount of games you have to to win it all once you get into the postseason. Well, you know what it's like with this baseball tournament, and it's probably the same with Arkansas. We saw it two years ago when they kind of just scratched in uh, and, and finished third in the College World Series. It's like the Chiefs. But it's like the whole thing of college baseball. You got to make the tournament, and I feel like any team from the SEC, if they make the tournament, probably has a chance to go all the way. Arkansas being at the top of that list, but they'll make the tournament. I mean, we just expect that's going to happen every single year. It's just that's never enough. That's true. It's uh, it's come so close, and obviously that 2018 game was the one we you know you focus so much. That maybe that was not the best team they've had go up there, but the closest to, that they've gotten. And and I you know there are a lot of people who follow college baseball on a regular basis. That's all they do. Who are, you know, lauding Arkansas as this may be their best chance to win it all. And I think the biggest reason in that is because those three guys that they, uh, you know, are planning on starting on the weekend and then are followed up by, you know, some, some pitchers that uh, major league baseball wanted, but couldn't pay enough money uh, to get. Hey, Dudley, uh, we, we had a topic earlier going on. Corliss Williamson, Sidney Moncrief, the only jerseys hung up there in the rafters. Give me two or three other guys you think that are worthy enough, and you know, Arkansas Razorbacks, to, to have their numbers up. And, and I don't mean retired numbers, but, you know, just, just showing respect, showing homage to, 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 to certain guys. Any guys come to top of mind? Yeah, I think you have to include the other two triplets. Uh, uh, Marvin Duff and Ron Brewer, uh, you know, also I think when you look at back at things, if you're going to look at the overall program, and I had the opportunity to write a book on the history of the Arkansas basketball, I think you have to, to throw, throw George Cup and uh, also uh, Martin Terry in there as far as guys who helped elevate the program and what they meant to the program and, you know, when you just look at their sheer stats. Can you shine any light as to why? Like the last time it happened, I think it was, nine or ten years ago. I remember um, hosting a small uh, get-together before a women's basketball game in which both Betty Fiscus and Delmonica Del Horney at different times were uh, celebrated and their names were put in the rafters then. I think by then, Sydney and, and uh, Corliss were already up there. 
But I mean, you, can you shine any light as to why this is even a topic right now and it hasn't already happened? Well, I've never shied away from saying stuff and getting in trouble, so I won't today. I think that during Jeff Long's tenure here, there was a movement toward it because of the situation with Coach Richardson, which I thought was plenty settled by then. Uh, there were some people who didn't want that to happen. It is far beyond time to happen. They need to get uh, people from each era, from Coach Sutton's era, uh, and from Coach Richardson's era. They need to get uh, the jerseys up there. It is ridiculous that the program – with enough success that Arkansas has had, has just those few hanging. I go to all these other places, and they're just in undated with jerseys, retired numbers, all that up there. That's not the case here, and it is BS, has been BS for a long time. Notice we didn't bring up much about this year's basketball team. We're talking more about the great times. So <laughs> what do you have? What do you think yeah. might happen tomorrow? Well, give me a best-case scenario for tomorrow against Tennessee. I think yeah, Arkansas' chances on uh, beating Tennessee probably got hurt when Tennessee lost the other day because they're going to be focused. They're a great basketball team. Dalton Quebec is as good players uh, you know, it, it, they have going in the SEC right now. I, it would be awfully hard. I'm not a betting guy, but it would be awfully hard for me to bet against Tennessee. Uh, Arkansas you know, certainly had a, an inspired effort the other day. Um, I know they're glad that the, the – the uh, game was probably 40 minutes instead of 45 because they might have not finished it. It just hasn't been a poorly constructed team this year. It hadn't worked well. Uh, it hadn't meshed whatever in the locker room. It hadn't, the fans haven't been as, uh, you know, inspired, I guess, from, from the play. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, as, the, as the coach once said, you are what your record says you are, and that's certainly what Arkansas is. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs. Get the latest odds, lines, and matchup reports for baseball, boxing, golf, and more. Bet Online continues to be the fastest and easiest way to place your wagers, including live betting and your favorite casino and card games available to play right from your phone. Head to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and get in on the action. Remember to use our promo code BELIEVE. That's B L E A V. For your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.